Alright guys, Med82 coming back to you. Um doing a video for Ralph zero zero one six one one and another one for Jesse Fleet from Facebook and anybody else who wants to do a dancer slash hopper like my dad's Cadillac the beige one. Um and I also got a little help on servo uh, modifications. So let's get done with the servo modifications first. Um Right here, as you see, you know, you get the HS55 um, Ralph and you install them, simple as that. And how you said, you said you had, you had to cut, what basically you said you had to cut the back piece of this and to fit two, you can fit two in here. What you gotta do is you gotta unscrew the servo, looks like this. The servo the is all squared up, it's a whole one piece. This is, I cut it, basically you unscrew it, you take off this piece. No back the backing which is like this. The backing's like um this. You unscrew this. The whole thing's supposed to look like this, full plastic. You unscrew that, take that off, you don't need that. What you do is you make sure this is sealed together with the gears and then you cut away from the motor like a L. Cut that. And make sure you stick this back in because this allows the other gears to spin. Stick it in, you could glue it in, just make sure you don't get glue in the gears. And that's where you have enough room to fit them. You fit them like that because you have your cylinders run through here behind them, and then you can fit like that. You can fit two right next to each other. Okay, that's the setup for um, let's help out for Ralph. Also, make sure you leave those two wires together. Those two wires, so that's your power, your positive, your negative wire. Okay, now this is my dad's setup. I'm on his Cadillac. Focus in. It's old school setup. See, as you can see, you got the interior and everything still in there. No engine, no trunk. This model kit's hard to find, also. It's being re re released, though. Okay. This is a setup for my dad's car. Let me put the rim back on real quick. He's using. Put this back on. You go to a local hobby shop, you get this T slider. T slider. Just cut out the notch for it. Fit it in, glue that in, and then I prefer for you guys to get like some clear plastic like this. And get a cut a long bar of it that fits exactly like that, and then you place it on there for support because these T sliders have to be messed with so long they do break the little ends. And then right there, you have the two motors sitting in the back next to each other. Another clear plastic holding this one up between the cap of the gas tank. This is the left one, this is the right one, and then he has the two wires run through the bottom of the interior all the way up to the front motor. There are two ways you can do the front motor. You can have it like this, where it just pulls it automatically. So you can see it has double string too because they tend to snap. And it just pulls the U-bar. This is old school U-bar. Just get any coat hanger or anything. Measure what you got. And you can just cut those notches right and it pushes it up, see? And then the T-slider is different. This allows you to do your motion in and the back to lift up all the way. You may have to do some shaving down due to the, the back piece of this right here. This piece right here hitting the T-slider. You could do it. This is another, this is an easy way. One of the easiest ways. So get the four pack of Hop and Hydro Dancer Motors. Use those three for that. And also he cut out, right here you can see he cut out these two squares right here. That piece and that piece to fit the motor perfectly in where the engine would probably go. Then he also used, right here, he had this plastic, clear plastic molded to the center. And then he has the front suspension connected to make it more of a guide. See the two guides right there. And it just allows it to guide it straight through. That's one setup. I have a crappy setup right here. Um, it's right here. I did this in like 15 minutes. Similar to this, but it's um, this is how another way you would, you could put them. If you were to have an Impala, put them like this. You have a clear plastic piece in the middle. You have the two motors lined up like that, and you have a U-bar. And basically, what it does, it pulls the U-bar enough space, has enough space to allow it to three wheel each side. Okay, watch. Push that up right there, and it three wheels. Another way, same thing with the front end. I have the wires running through the frame right here, running through up, and then another 
motor would sit um, parallel. Instead of having the motor sit straight, it would sit parallel and it would pull the string from under here to there. But to be honest, the back trunk area, it just depends on how you have it. You can have it like this, the motors, or you can have it like this. I recommend T-sliders instead of U-bars because using U-bars is kind of tricky compared to T-sliders give you the full through motion. Um, uh, anything else? Any questions? Um, wiring that you guys will, I can release, eh, no big deal. You basically just simply hook it up, um, power, power, negative, negative, not hard much. String, the way string placement, oh, another thing, yeah, string placement before. What you do is run the string from that gap right there, all under here, through here to a hole. Any hole doesn't matter, as long as it's running under the motor. It runs up, and then I recommend putting like something there, like glue around it, or nylon nylon O-rings, or some kind of spacers, just to keep the string from rubbing and snapping, from so much um, friction against the plastic, it causes it to snap. And that's a uh, easy setup. And you can see, goes up in the front. And then focus it real quick. Up in the front, left corner, right corner has enough and the motors act as weight to make it hit back bumper no need for lead weights or any of that I also redid if you guys noticed in the last video I also redid the rear suspension on my 59 I got more lift out of it I don't know if you can notice but yeah it got it lifts way more higher now I just have to replace the servo but yeah it gets inches I mean it gets up lays like that perfect on the back you guys can see my 62 over here laying on three with the chains hanging out. Opened up the doors. This one we did in two weeks. He, my dad paid, did the paint job in a week. We still got to do the interior, like the little the buttons and all that. We got to do some of the foil touch ups. I got to redo get some antennas because they broke on me. I did break a arm pieces while I was at the car show. That's why I didn't post the video right after. Fully detailed engine. Fully detailed, wired up, battery and hoses and all that extra, extra crap. And the rims, if you guys want to know, Pegasus 1113 deep dish rims, all chromes, you get all gold, doesn't matter. Um, switches recommended, you can use these, you can find them at, by what Irvin, Irving 1218 has told me, you can find these toggle switches. You can see they're center off, it goes off, parentheses, on, Parentheses, I mean, off, parentheses, on, and then off again. You have to get those specific switches in order to have it look so it doesn't see when you press the button, it just goes back to the middle. Compared to these ones, you know, these ones just go and they stay one area. Stay one area. Um, those are really good switches, it's more realistic, or you could use some old school big switches like from a real car. Use these ones. But it doesn't matter. Other than that, um, any other questions you guys would like me to know? Here's another picture of the setup he has right here. Anything else you guys would like to know? Just hit me up. Facebook. Um, same thing. My username on um, YouTube. It's M-E-T-A-T-O. And then my email is at yahoo.com. And that's you can search me up on, on Facebook. Add me up on there. I'm also on Lay It Low for the same username. Um... Anything else you guys like to know, like, once again, just hit me up. I do plan on having more cars for the future. This one's the last build for 2011. I uh, Hopefully, I'm planning on getting a tow truck. I'm planning on getting a tow truck for a hopper, um, a replica of my dad's S10. Um, a 63 Impala going to old school. I'm going to try to get Gary Seeds. Shout out to Gary Seeds if you can... Maybe hook me up with the paint job. I'm looking to do an old school 63 Impala. You know, not too hydraulics. Just make it lift high enough in the rear and the front to like drive out the driveway and stuff. Like some old school. I'm looking for an old school 63 Impala. I plan on doing that. So if you could hook me up with the paint job, let me know. We could work something out. I could do some little favor back to you or pay you. It doesn't matter. Your paint jobs are amazing. That's why it's kind of hard to find anybody who does any old school paint jobs like yours. Um... Another shout out to Arturo Reels, aka Ar Mr. Arturo, doing it big with those interiors. I love in your interiors. Um, 
one two one eight Irving. Also doing another. I'm doing a Monte Carlo moving suspension. I'm looking forward for all that. Everybody else in the Lowrider community and model community, model community, if you got hydraulics or not, I'm so looking forward for it because you guys got some amazing builds out there. I've reached the 55, 53 subscribers, um, 53 subscriber uh, mark. I plan on reaching when I reach 100 subscribers. I plan on giving away maybe a set of rims or maybe a servo or something. Nothing too big because you know it's not much of a big number, but. Starting off simple. Uh, hopefully, I reach more subscribers sooner or later, um, and the prizes will be bigger. Maybe a whole car, chassis, or something. Just to be like, just to thank you guys, the subscribers. Um, yeah, um, keep a watch out for any other video. I do plan on doing another video after this one specifically on the 62 getting up because the battery's charging up right now. Um, Tingo's interiors, amazing. Everybody. Great job on all your cars. Uh, have a happy, happy, have a happy New Year and a very safe Christmas to all you guys. Stay safe. Have a nice Christmas with your families. My wishes go out to everybody out there in the rider community and on model community. Have some safe holidays. You know, play it safe. Don't be going too crazy now. <laughs> I know it's a holiday, it's a New Year, but. I do plan on showing up probably at the Majestics picnic on New Year's Day. Probably bring my model cars there too, show what I got. I just, just to see what people look at, you know. Um, yeah, that's my day two coming back to you guys once again. Uh, like I said, hit me up if you got any other questions. Later.